Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's video here today at AutoBuyCenter.com. My name's Chad. I'm your boy here on Charleston Car Videos or on Facebook. So stay with us. We're going to be taking a look at the 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 with the V6 up under the hood. If it's got any dents, stings, scratches, imperfections, I will point them out to you. I'm going to be the realest used car salesman online here that I can be. Again, I am not scared to show you the dents, stings, scratches, or imperfections that a vehicle has. That will make my life easier and your life easier before you take your time to drive all the way out here. Your time is valuable. My time is valuable so let's have a respect for each other not waste each other's time if you're interested in something make me an offer on a cash price and we'll get the deal done so anyways this one's black in color it's a good truck for the most part folks it's got cold AC in it I've let several people look at it already but um you know just not everybody's got three thousand bucks cash to buy it okay so anyways this one does have a nice big old Dodge Ram front grill big old Ram headlights we are missing a piece of the chrome that goes right there that broke out at some point. The black looks fine though on the actual truck. It definitely could use a little wash right now, but it's still nice and shiny. We got a little bit of scratches and things going on there. That right there needs to be zip tied back up on there. I don't know why the guys in the shop don't get some of that stuff handled for us already, but you know, they got a lot going on. So anyways, we do got a hole right here for where a fog light will go. And that's why, you know, you're going to look at it today and you're going to say, well, there's some stuff wrong with the truck. But again, like I'll tell you, the price is low and that's why, you know, we got a price low like that. You got plenty of tread. The main things on the truck that you want to make sure is you got good tires. If you got rocks in the tread, you know you got tread. You got chrome wheels. Okay, the chrome definitely does start chipping after a good while. It's a 10 year old truck. Things start going wrong with them, you know. 1500 series. The window tint here, whoever tinted these windows at one point obviously didn't do too great of a job and it started doing that number right there. I'd peel that off and go get them retinted or I don't have any tint on there. You do got the paint on the Dodge, it's starting to chip off here. As you can see the clear coat all the way up here is gone and it's just making its way right on down to disappearing right in there. That's just classic on 10 years old, okay? Living in the south or living up north wherever you're at, you know, paint's going to start chipping, especially right up in here as well. But you do got a back window that opens and closes, you got a bed liner that holds water, not too bad. You do got some uh, rust going on here. You can see that right there, pretty plain as day. It's happening right here as well. We call that cancer in the car business. The car got cancer on it, okay? Now you say, well, why is that happening right there on that fender well? This is a good indication here, folks, that this truck is from up north because we do not have snow here. And when you do have snow, the tire will flick up the salt that they put on the roads and it will get all up in this fender well up there. And that's why it's rusting right in there. How do I know that? Because a nice young man came up here a few days ago and told me that. And I learned and I paid attention. So anyways, amen. Thank you, brother, for coming up here and telling me that. The back tailgate, it also is in good shape. It's nice and big. No dents, no dings, no scratches, but definitely got some clear coat chippage. I mean, we got a bunch. It looks like cancer just rolled back here. But no rust, okay? Just chipping off. Some people don't care, though. It's just a pickup truck. It's just load stuff in the back. It's got a tow package, okay? So some people don't mind about that. You do got a hole in the tail light. You do got a scratch here. But the chrome gas cap makes up for the scratch. Back tires look great, and tires are just fine all the way around. And again, I did say the AC blows cold. Okay, let's get to the interior. Power windows, power door locks. There's a power window working for you. Let's see if that side works. Oh, sure it does, okay? Not bad. Door locks work as well. You do got a rip on the seat right there. You know, hey, your butt coming in and out, sliding right there is going to make a rip, okay? Just remember that when you're sitting inside your truck after 10 years. There's the top. Headliner's nice and clean. Again, AC blows cold. Definitely colder than what I got in my car because I don't have a damn bit of AC. This is what you call 255 air if your car had no AC. Two windows down, get 55 miles an hour, gives you air. You don't need 255 air. You already got it. Very nice. Anyways, now the major question here that some of y'all ask is how many miles is on this Dodge Ram? Well, let me blow you away. Here we go. Let's go ahead and close this door see see how many miles we got on this thing. Oh, I love the cold AC. I could sit in here for hours. I mean, it's so comfortable. Anyways, let's take a look. Let's see. Let's turn that off for a minute. Find a button in here to find out how to get the mileage on there. Oh, here we go. 161,979. So again, 161, just a few miles away from 162,000 miles. We are missing the uh, rear view mirror. It may be in the glove box. Nope. Might be back here somewhere. Not exactly sure. This is a center seat and a center console. It's got a rip in it. 
more storage there. Throw your Glock in there, your 22 or your 9 millimeter. Okay. Keep yourself safe. Exercise your right to be an American. You do got cup holders right there to throw them big old supersized cups in. You do got an auxiliary port right here or something like that, I'm assuming. Maybe that goes to a Garmin system. Not exactly sure. But anyways, it does run good. I'm going to rev the engine up. I'm going to roll the window down let you hear the motor a little bit. Here we go. Three, two, one. V6 sounds great. This is not a Hemi, but again, it is a V6 by Dodge. And uh, should get a little bit better fuel economy than the V8. And uh, again, it's a regular cab with a short bed. It's not a long bed. And uh, it does drive.